Trump welcomes President of Kenya to the White House Washington, AP, President Donald Trump on Monday welcomed the President of Kenya to the White House, where the two leaders talked trade, security, and Trump's accomplishments. Trump hosted President Uhuru Kenyatta as Kenya is emerging from a period of election turmoil. He's the second African leader to meet with Trump at the White House, following a visit by Nigeria's president earlier this year. Ad choice advertising and red invented by Teeds Trump has been criticized for paying too little attention to the continent and faced demands for an apology earlier this year after his private comments about shithole countries in Africa and other regions were leaked to journalists. Advertisement Monday night, though, Trump and Kenyatta released a joint statement resolving to elevate the U.S.-Kenya relationship to a strategic partnership, affirming it as a cornerstone of peace, stability and good governance in Africa and the Indian Ocean region. They said the partnership will include an annual dialogue to advance mutual prosperity, U.S. First Lady Melania Trump, who helped welcome Kenyatta and his wife to the White House, is planning a solo trip to Africa this fall. Trump and Kenyatta, in their joint statement, said they discussed a series of topics, including cooperation on terrorism and building trade and investment ties. During remarks to reporters before their meeting, Trump trumpeted a preliminary trade deal with Mexico he'd announced earlier in the day as well as recent stock market gains. Well, you were here on a very special day, Trump told Kenyatta, adding, everything I said is going to happen, it ends up happening, so you picked a good day to come. We are in a very good mood, Kenyatta said he hoped Trump would share the wealth with his country. We'll bring that over to Kenya, Trump joked. Trump also pointed to what he called a massive roadway infrastructure project in Kenya as a sign of the country's ties. He appeared to be referring to the Nairobi-Mombasa expressway project that would link Kenya's capital with its major Indian Ocean port. Advertisement The Head of the U.S. Overseas Private Investment Corporation met last month with U.S. construction company Bechtel in Kenya about the agency's ready support for the project, which is seen by the U.S. as tool to compete with China's sweeping Belt and Road Initiative in Africa and elsewhere. Last year Kenya opened a Chinese-funded railway between Nairobi and Mombasa that has been described as Kenya's largest infrastructure project since independence. Kenyatta has been trying to bolster his image following a crisis in which Kenya's Supreme Court overturned the August presidential election, citing irregularities, and the opposition boycotted the fresh vote. Kenya is the third highest recipient of U.S. security aid in sub-Saharan Africa, according to the Security Assistance Monitor. Both Kenya and the U.S. have troops in Somalia, and the Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab extremist group has crossed the border to carry out dozens of attacks inside Kenya, calling it retribution for sending troops. Nearly 100 Kenyan police officers have been killed since May 2017 in bombings and ambushes. The Kenyan leader is also meeting with U.S. business leaders to promote investment in his country while in Washington. He'll host British Prime Minister Theresa May in Nairobi, Kenya's capital, on Thursday, underscore underscore Tom Odula contributed to this report from Nairobi. By Tabula by Tabula sponsored links sponsored links promoted links promoted links you may like these Straits Times photo of woman walking round town in bikini bottom causes stir in Sabah Straits Times and a Stanford American International School how overseas school trips benefit your child Stanford American International School in Oayana Komodo Resort only one hour flight from Bali. Discover the spectacular Labuan Bajo Ayana Komodo Resort and Vikings, free online game play this for one minute and see why everyone is addicted Vikings, free online game on Dohip Van We bet you can't spend more than $10,000 on furnishing your home Hip Van and Hitachi cancer therapy system that is less invasive. Find out more at Hitachi Undo.